you know, I just want to experience more and I want to live forever and I want to be stronger and faster and tougher and smarter, you know, and I want to have a better time every day. It's my goal. Every day I wake up and I'm like, how do I get more out of this ridiculous nonsense that we exist in? <laughs> you know? My name is either Mike Sealer or Microbot. Uh, I'm from California and I live in New York City and I try not to be boring. Everything I touch breaks, so I got good at fixing it. Uh, I get like a really deep sense of joy when I bring something back to life or when I find something in the trash, like an old laptop or something, and I'm able to restore it and make it a tool and give it to somebody who would love it. Uh, it makes me really happy. I am probably the most electrically sensitive person in the world. I have uh, quarter inch wide disks of neodymium uh, covered in silicone installed down the tips of my fingertips. They allow me to feel magnetic fields, oscillating magnetic fields. So if I'm walking over the subway, I could feel the subway running underneath me. I could feel lampposts, the telephones, microwave from four or five feet away. They vibrate back and forth, right, shaking. So I feel that vibration inside of me. I mean, my magnets are done with purpose to feel more about the technology that I'm using. It's definitely come in handy, saved my life a couple times. Occasionally I'll be working on some like big three-phase power in a warehouse, for example, and I'll be like, oh, don't touch that, you will die. And I could feel it from, you know, three or four feet away. I think that the idea of why you would want it inside of you, as opposed to, say, a ring, is that you uh, forget about it. It becomes part of you. I dream with this sense now. Um, and it feels very natural to me. Uh, I smell electricity, basically. I have an RFID chip implanted in my hand here. Radio frequency identification, right? It's also NFC compatible with near-field communication, which is a set of protocols uh, that a lot of Android devices can use and a bunch of other stuff, actually. And it's basically, think about it as a reprogrammable key that can also issue commands to most Android devices. And really the practical application for it would be unlocking apartment doors, starting your motorcycle. I just kind of do fun stuff with it. So right now if I put my phone on it, it sends a letter to my friend that says I love her. People modify themselves to uh, medicine all the time since the day you were born, you know? And whether it's for weird religious aesthetic reasons like circumcision or whether it's through legitimate medical reasons like vaccines or um, LASIK, eye surgery. This is startling to people, I think, some of this stuff because medicine is normally used to fix damage, right? So now we're using medicine to, to advance the already intact body. I think that there's a race in our society between whether our technology will kill us or save us. And I'd rather be abreast of that situation than not. These meat sacks that we exist in, you know, are probably not gonna suffice for very much longer if we wanna go travel the stars, right? We need to be better. Transhumanism, biohacking, human augmentation, body modification, these are like huge umbrellas that incorporate a bunch of different philosophies and practices. Transhumanism, I think, is generally the idea that through the use of technology, we can transcend the suffering inherent in the human condition. Biohacking and human augmentation are kind of the, um, the practice, the actual real life practice of the theory of transhumanism. I think the core of it is a belief in, in that this sucks, that we are suffering or that we will suffer in the future. And we are just at the point where we have the technology to get rid of some of that suffering and maybe live forever amongst the stars and be gods, right? We're like, this close, right? This isn't necessarily like, you know, the correct answer to um, relieving our suffering, right? Or living forever. But it is a potential answer there's something, it's, it is kind of um, wild and risky and new and weird, you know, and like maybe even a little dangerous. And having people willing to do that and being around them is really empowering and cool. And in general, if you don't have people pushing these boundaries, trying to pursue a different way of life, 
your culture and society is stagnant and stale, and you don't learn anything new. People ask me weird questions sometimes. It's like, you know, what are they good for? It's such a weird question because it's like, why do you need to see purple? You know, you don't need that, right? Like, not enriching my life and like experiencing like a little bit more joy, you know? Like, isn't that good enough, you know? And why? Uh, am I a cyborg? Will I become a cyborg? What is a cyborg? I think that the pretty stuff is not to be disregarded and I want like just lights, you know, up and down my arms. I want the aesthetic. Like, the aesthetic's cool. It's what I grew up on, right? It's like if I'm gonna stay relevant, I mean every cool kid has RFID tags and magnets now, you know? So like, gotta keep pushing it, otherwise I'll be boring, right? One of my close friends almost lost her arm recently. And I was like, hey, if we have to lose his arm, let's move the nerves up the arm so that we can access them easily so I can build her a prosthetic device. And my fantasy immediately went to tentacle arm. This thing is ridiculous. Like, what a fragile, weird, little, unflexible, stupid, little meat claw. You know, what if it was like an awesome snaking collection of tentacles, you know, wrapping around the beer glass, you know? I think it'd be cool. And that's immediately where my head went. I was like, oh, I'm gonna build you a sweet tentacle arm. And then realized that like, I'm like hoping that she loses her arm. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm a terrible person. Like, just because I wanted a project to work on. You know, again, there's some ethical stuff there, you know? Uh, yeah. Is there any logical endpoint to any of this? To modifying the meat sack, you know, or someplace that I would say stop? No, absolutely not. Like, sure. Those sort of questions are what a lot of the transhumanist community spends their time on. Um, I don't really care. I'm just trying to make things less boring, you know? And also trying to demonstrate to people that you can make things less boring, you know? You can, you can experience more, you know? Uh, and without much difficulty, you can see more. Mm -hmm.